Let's bring in political editor Andrew Clennell. It, it got closer and closer to the ministerial uh, wing, but not to the Premier today. Got more interesting towards the end. I was hoping they were going to keep going, to be honest, Kieran. Uh, look, um, I, I thought that was interesting at the end. The suggestion was they were going to see he was getting a developer friend of his to have an off-the-record chat uh, to, with the Chief of Staff to the then Planning Minister Anthony Roberts, Rob Vella, and uh, the implication, I think, was there was there might be something untoward in relation to that. And uh, that was, again, about a development outside his electorate. And we heard a phone tap there with Mr Aller and Mr Maguire where he, uh, Mr Aller says he needs a meeting with Gladys Berejiklian and Anthony Roberts, but that meeting, it seems, never occurred. Interesting there, that particular phrase, a code, Dan uh, Darren Maguire spoke about, uh, fancy a glass of red, rather than saying, come here and meet Mr Allah, the mobile phone text message. And also some evidence that uh, Rob Vella and Darren Maguire had had a row a couple of weeks previous. I am aware that Darren Maguire was reasonably uh, frantic in his lobbying and planning ministers around the place during his time in the place and that those overtures weren't always well received. Just another little bit of news in relation to this story I have for you, Kieran, is that that motion of no confidence in the Premier Gladys Berejiklian has lost, as I predicted, has been lost, as I predicted, by one vote in the New South yeah. Wales Upper House 2020 with the President, a Liberal, giving the casting vote and the vote that was missing that could have got that motion up was Shoket Mosselmane, who's been the subject of foreign interference raids and is therefore not in the Parliament, the Labor, suspended Labor MP.